Hey everybody, Terry White here, and I've got a new use case for generative fill. I gotta thank my colleague, Howard Pinsky, for the inspiration for this one, but I think you're gonna love it. I have a new take on it. So I've got this vertical video, and we get a lot of vertical videos that sometimes we wish were shot wide so we can make them part of a better production. So we've got this couple walking down uh, a walkway here, looks like they're on vacation, palm trees and all. But the best part about this, what makes this a great candidate for what I'm about to do, is that the action is happening in the middle of the frame. In other words, it's happening only in the middle. Nothing around the frame is moving. Those, those structures that they're walking under aren't moving. So they're a prime candidate for what I'm gonna show you in Photoshop. So now let's pop over to the Photoshop beta, and I'm just gonna show you where I would start from scratch. I'm just gonna go ahead and cr click a Create New Document, and we're gonna make the document size 4K. So 3840 by 2160 pixels. We'll make it wide format. We'll just go ahead and click Create, and that will give us our wide format. So now we can go ahead and place the video. So we'll do a place embed it. That way it stays with the Photoshop file. We'll go ahead and grab the, uh, the, for, the, the vertical version. We'll go ahead and make it fill the whole frame. There we go, something like that. And we'll make sure that's nice and centered. We get our smart guides there, great. So now we got our, our frame centered. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my rectangular marquee to, oh wait, you can't see that it's a video. Let's go ahead and switch it over to the motion uh, workspace where we'll get this timeline and we can go ahead and say, create a video timeline from this. So now we get our playhead and we can actually play the video right in Photoshop like we have been doing for years. So now with that said, I can go ahead and grab my rectangular marquee tool. We'll go ahead and grab these uh, sides here, the left side, I'll hold down my shift key um, and grab the right side. And now that we got the side selected, you know what I'm about to do next. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that generative fill. I don't need a prompt for this because I want Photoshop to figure out what to add in on the side. So let's just go ahead and let that happen. And like magic, we get the rest of our scene. We can even pick which one we like best because, you know, the only the people that were there will know what this really looked like. I kind of like this one. Now, it gave us our, our extra pixels on the sides, but it did not fill the entire video. So we can just stretch this out because this can be as long as we need it to be. It's just a layer of pixels on the side. So now when we play this back, they will be walking in a widescreen video right down the middle, just like they were, they're untouched because Photoshop just created a simple layer for the sides. Cheers, everyone. Don't forget, you can export this out as a full video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody.